guys, this is Kelly Kirchberg of Divine Style, your personal fashion stylist. Today we're talking about jewelry shopping. What's the best way to find unique, interesting pieces without having to spend a ton of time or money necessarily when you're looking? So the first thing is it depends if you're looking online or in stores. We'll go over a couple tips for shopping online for jewelry and then also some when you're shopping in store what to do. The first thing is that when you're shopping online is understanding the different categories that jewelry might fall underneath. So there is what's considered fine jewelry and fashion jewelry and there's also another segment here as well. So typically that means if you're shopping online at a department store's website, for example, fine jewelry will be your true gold pieces, your platinum, your white gold, your true metals, and then any of your stone jewelry, so diamonds, sapphires, all of that falls underneath of your fine jewelry category. Fashion jewelry is in another separate sort of price point and style. So those are brands or designers that make jewelry, but it's at a more accessible, easily reachable level. So that might be anywhere from sort of the $50 price point up to multiple hundreds of dollars that you can shop in. And then of course there's the lesser end jewelry or more what's considered everyday um, or costume jewelry. So when you're shopping, the first thing is to know what category you're sort of looking to spend in. The next thing is that when you're looking for pieces, it can be overwhelming to just click jewelry on a site and there could be tons or pages and pages of that. But knowing specifically what you might be interested in. For example, if you want a bracelet, knowing what type of bracelet you're looking for. Am I looking for a delicate piece? Am I looking for a cuff, a statement piece? Um, if you're looking for earrings, for example, are you looking for stud earrings, hoops, dangle, drops? Any of that classification really helps simplify and know exactly what you're looking for. The other trick that I also always tell people is don't eliminate things by color. For example, you might find a great piece that can go with an outfit, but it may not be the color that you're searching for. For example, I might want some black earrings, but if you eliminate that, you could find some other metallic pieces or amazing print pieces, other styles that really could capture your eye and be a great addition to your wardrobe and your closet. The next thing is that when you're shopping is online, look for different style jewelry that you see either on TV or in magazines or you've seen it on Pinterest or different other online sites. And look for what are those characteristics that you're really interested in. Maybe it has more of that edgier style and it has spikes or studs on it. Or it has, for example, more of delicate crystals, or it has interesting sort of statement metals. So really understanding what the different features are that you're looking for can help eliminate styles that do not work for you. The other trick is that when you see someone wearing a piece of jewelry that you like, ask them where they got it. People love to get a compliment and often they'll tell you, oh, that's this designer, or I picked it up at blah, blah, blah store, whatever it may be. That will help you also to know another name or a style jewelry that you're really interested in as well. The other thing that you can do is that when you're shopping in stores for looking for something, it's very challenging to have in your mind, I need to go find X whatever piece that you like. So the first thing is that kind of always be browsing and shopping or looking for that. You never know when you might find a great jewelry piece that can be a super complement to your wardrobe. The other thing that I would say is that when you're shopping in store is that look for different types of stores that may not be a jewelry store. So for example, home stores that carry home decor 
such as sort of party favors or dishes, little plants, um, cocktail napkins that you might pick up or nice stationery. Those stores often carry unique jewelry pieces as well from different designers or different pieces that you would see online somewhere. So it's always great to look while you might pop in to see if they might carry something unique and unusual. I also always ask when I'm in store, if I see a piece that I overall like the general style or the cut, the metal, stones, whatever it may be, is to ask them what designer creates this? You can look up the designer on Instagram, which most are on, or you can look them up on, online in their website. Take a picture of the jewelry that you're liking and then search a little bit further to see what other styles or pieces does that designer carry. You can also ask in any boutique or store if that designer makes other styles of that. So for example, maybe it's a delicate piece that you saw, but you're really looking for more of a statement pendant necklace or a bitter drop. So asking the store owner or the person working in the boutique or a department store or whatever it may be, they should be able to tell you, yes, this is by blah, 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 designer, whatever it may be. And they also carry this style or that style, or we're happy to order for you. It's a little trick. It's not just what you see necessarily out on the sales floor, but there's often lots of other options or pieces. The other trick is to think about kind of what it is that you might be looking for and then what are other unusual places that you could shop for it. So for example, any sort of consignment stores often have great jewelry. Some of that's new pieces that they carry. So that's a great option to search for. You can also look um, on sort of the, the consignment sites that are online. So Luxury Garage Sale has great pieces. The Real Real. Um, Outnet has great options. There's tons and tons of different sites that don't just cater to jewelry, but often have great accessories as well. The other thing that people often forget about or don't necessarily think about it if they're not in store is that a lot of designers also make jewelry lines, but they can be great to wear, not necessarily from head to toe in a designer look, but interspersing different styles. So for example, let's say that you're wearing a Diane von Furstenberg outfit, but you might say, oh, I want pieces by Elizabeth Cole as an option to accentuate that. Or I might wanna wear, you know, Dolce & Gabbana jewelry with, you know, an H&M outfit. It doesn't really matter what you have on, but it's understanding different styles and then being able to intersperse them with what you're wearing to add more variety. And also thinking about if there's somewhere that you like to shop is asking them in the store, particularly, what would be a good place to find jewelry or accessories that would accommodate what the outfits are that you might be purchasing or what you might be wearing. Sometimes they can have great recommendations and are always happy to share, particularly if you're in a store or a boutique owned a small business, they love to share other sites from, oh, I'd recommend going to this place or that place. Always happy to help other boutiques and stores. And often it's the best place that you can find things that you may not know of that are online as well. So the last thing I think about is that trying to shop for pieces that are a little bit unique and different from what you might normally wear. So for example, if you're someone who always wears the different daintier type of or delicate jewelry pieces, where is there an area that you can kind of step up and edit your jewelry pieces to kind of make a little bit more of a bolder style. So maybe trying a longer drop earring could be a great example for you. And you can search for those which will open up your options or your jewelry choices that you may not have looked at or thought about before. So we hope these jewelry shopping tips and tricks will help you be able to accessorize in style. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out all of our style freebies down below. And then let us 
us know also what are the best places where you love to shop for your jewelry pieces, online or in store. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for Divine Style to get all of our latest client makeovers, style tips and tricks, and all of our fashion videos in your feed. We'll see you on the next segment.